Welcome to Needleman 3 uh, and Grapes, Needleman 3 and Grapes Clearing and Restoration video. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about what's going on at the moment, uh, what Needleman Energy is, um, how this video will clear it, and how you can work on yourself clearing it. So, Needleman Energy, uh, if you've heard of the illness that people won't stop talking about, um, the illness is not much of a problem. The problem is the needles that people are taking for it. Um, the first Needleman video will, works on the energy that one and two put out. And this is for number three. So that's why this is called Needleman three, um, in order to keep it simple, because the way the world's working, it's most like, there most likely be a fourth one and a fifth one. There already is a fourth one. Um, sixth, eight, 10, 12, 14, and I'll just keep making videos as we need to. So, in terms of Needleman 3, this energy is, it looks like a red staticky energy. Um, the first two pronounced, uh, produced from people a strong blue frequency that caused a lot of problems, and I talked about that in the first video. The third one produces a red static energy that is 12 times stronger than the first two and is much worse. I've written some dot points here, so if you see me Checking my notes, um, that's what it is. So I'm going to talk about um, how it targets, how it tar how this energy targets us, um, our energetic pool, and how implants work. So other people, hope, hopefully, um, take the injection for the third thing. And in there, I've, I've worked on people who've taken the first two. I haven't worked because I've, I've been taking a while off. Um, on people who've had the third one, but the first two, there would be some things in the needle, some fruits, and that would go into the person's body, use their body's electro um, magnetic. Basically, we have electromagnetic frequencies run through us. It would use that to power it, and it would emit this frequency. The third one does the same, only it's much worse and does a lot more damage. In terms of energetic pull, the st Vince, there, there is no Needleman 2, okay? We skipped 2. 2 was a <laughs> two was a bad movie, okay? We're straight to 3. Um, in terms of energetic pull, the stronger your soul is, or just really anyone who has a strong energetic pull, I, I wouldn't worry about soul. I, let's just say the, if you've done energy training or if you're just energy sensitive, you were born with a stronger energetic pull, the more this energy will target you. So people who are energetically weaker are not as effect or not as sensitive they don't really pull energy in are nowhere near as affected by this as we are um and to top it off negative entities that target us put energetic implants inside of us and this video will clear this from you it will clear these implants they put energetic implants inside of us and essentially you can just picture a big metal it's, it's, let's just say science fiction sucking device in the fourth to seventh dimension really that just pull in this needle uh, this needleman energy so you walk past someone and just goes right in and then it basically holds the energy in place and it'll gradually suck in more that is why a lot of people who aren't targeted they can walk around and they might feel a bit sick um until they really desensitize to it. But uh, people that are targeted, you walk by someone who's just absolutely, and a lot of people, they take it and it's just kind of in their energy field, but there are people that it straight up, and, um, negative energies and entities have weaponized these people. So they are just blasting this energy outward. They're not really affected by it so much because they're affecting everyone else. So you walk by one of these people, and you just get hit, the energy gets in, and you go, okay, it's, how do I get rid of this, All right? So as this video goes through, it will clear these implants from you. Um, I'm gonna talk about yeah, how it affects buildings and open areas. So this energy, it doesn't just go and target people like us. It also, and even if you, let's say someone doesn't have a soul, they still have a fairly weak energetic pull. So even if they haven't had it, they will have that energy sucked into them. So in terms of 
buildings. It tends to come out of people and just stick stick to everything. So buildings will just accumulate this. If there is a fresh breeze coming in or it may, mainly a fresh breeze, so long as it's fresh air it, and you're not having these people in all the time um, and some sunlight, it will eventually clear out. But if the building is not or if it's enclosed most of the time, that energy will just stagnate and it can cause a lot of problems. Um, even open areas. I was at a wharf last week, I believe, and there were a lot of people there that had the Needleman 3 energy. And I could see in the just atmosphere, this red staticky energy everywhere, and it was going in me, and I was like, okay, what, what's the problem? And I was finding these implants and, and clearing them. But th this was a wharf, it, and it just accumulated so much of this energy just in the overall area because just because you're not in a building this energy will still go out and if it's not directly going to people it's just clogging up the atmosphere and causing massive problems there um that's one reason why if, if you can avoid major cities because there's a lot of people crammed in there which is they're already pretty bad energetically and then they're just all radiating this energy and they're living in it so they're used to feeling like you know, feeling terrible um but for people like you and I, who hopefully don't feel terrible all the time, we go in there and we go, oh, this this is way worse than it was 10 kilometers away. It's really bad. It, it certainly is. Um, I'm now going to talk about how you can clear it, um, how this video will clear it. So in terms of you clearing it, if you want to clear it yourself, you would just... Feel or picture this red static energy around you and then just picture your energy just burning it up and erasing it from existence. You just want to try and get get rid of this energy, okay? It, it should not exist. Um, it, it's very much, you know, weaponized by design. I'm just going to have some water. You can feel it working on me. So, how this video will clear you, it's going to work on you overall and different areas um, that you're more targeted. This energy, it mainly targets the uh, chest, especially lungs, it really hits the lungs, heart, brain and, and stomach, um, along with the legs. I'm going to talk about that more in detail um, and why that is happening um, in a little bit. Um, how, how this video will clear it, it, it will essentially be erasing the energy implants and anything else that is causing a problem. Then it will go through and restore the parts of your energy body that have been damaged by this negative frequency. Um, as you play this video, it will turn you into a gold pillar, just how a lot of my other healing videos do. And you will then essentially radiate this energy so as you're walking around it will just work on those around you if you don't want it to work on someone just just say and it won't but overall it will be helping clear people now you know you can choose to have that happen or you can just choose for it to fully work on you um there's not much of a down you're not going to lose any potential clearing on you if you're you know having it work on those around you so i'm going to talk about the symptoms of clearing as this clears you may have when this energy first came out it's been out for quite a while unless you live in the middle of nowhere you most likely felt it as this energy um, clears you may feel burning and you'll remember the symptoms that you first felt when you were around people initially you'll have burning in your chest you may feel aching and tired um, the reason why you're feeling this now with the video is because your body was used to it so if you take just let's say really big clamp and just clamp your arm it'll hurt it may hurt for a few hours but then it'll stop and you can have that clamp on for years and the second you take it off it's gonna as the feeling comes back in your body it's going to start hurting again so that's what this will do we'll be removing these clamps and your body will go oh oh yeah <laughs> i've been suffering for quite a while i've been burned i've been you know just absolutely cooked with this energy um this video itself is not cooking you it is just clearing it from your body and your body is now sending you symptoms 
of what's going on. As this um, video plays, you may get... More, I was just reading the chat, by the way. You may get more sensitive to the energy. The reason for that is... Okay, so let's say you're a bottle of water and you're a liter big, okay? And you've been filled up with 900 milliliters of uh, Needleman 3, right? As it's drained from you, so you get... Let's not say fully clear. Let's say you get to 100 milliliters, right? Then, as you go out, you'll... It'll... Be as if you're getting hit by it harder and you're sensing it more. That's because you're no longer deadened to that energy. Your energy sensitivity is back to the level that it should be. Um, you may say, okay, well, I can't live like this. I'd rather be dead to the energy than just be attacked by this all the time. But the more this plays, the more it will clear from you and you won't be as sensitive to it. And the reason for that is these implants tend to create, and just the energy itself, creates large openings in your body. This video will go through and clear them, along with the shielding video. It will go through and clear those. So then you can be around people and you won't just feel... <laughs> just the energy hitting you everywhere through every in you've got, okay? Instead, you'll go around and you'll feel in, 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 and then it'll get in. And then as as you play this more in and, you know, feel it about there, and then you'll just feel it being pushed away from you. That's the end goal, is to not feel the energy coming into you. Um... Depending on how targeted you are, depending on your own energetic strength, depending on how bad your surroundings are, it will vary. But you should be able to get to that stage. Now, if you come across someone who's super, super weaponized and it gets in, yeah, that's very annoying. But that doesn't suddenly mean that everybody can get at you. It just means this one targeted person had much more negative energy coming out of them. Yeah, just having three people around you who've had this um, can be enough if you can't clear it because it will just gradually build up over time. Um, next, I'm going to talk about grapes, all right? Now, this is... Grape sucks, all right? Um, Needleman 3, it's just like the first two. 12 times worse, but it's just like the first two. Grapes is new to Needleman 3. Grapes is what I'm calling something that looks like a little red essentially worm. They are a physical fruit. They come in through the third needle and they also come in to us, unfortunately, through other people. So the way this works is I found out about grapes. I had um, gotten off my plane trip. This was in December and I had a client message me and I'm telling her story. I didn't ask if I could. I'm telling her anyway. Um, she'd been hit by a bioweapon that was called, you know, the, the, the illness that's going around. And she had a look and she's like, I got the, I got the illness, Lawrence. I got the illness. Can you have a look? And I said, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll have a look. And I went, oh, this is a bioweapon. This is not natural. This looks very much like a bioweapon. And in there were these grapes. And after I cleared her and she got much better, I then checked myself, because I'll do that. Pretty much anything that I see on anyone else, I will check myself. And I ha was absolutely covered in grapes. And I thought, what What happened? How did I get this many? I haven't even, you know, I haven't been around, as, as far as I know, that, that many Needleman 3 people, um, especially not for a long period of time. Um, and then I found out, so the way these grapes work is they go on these people who've got Needleman 3, and then they eat the person's tissue and self-replicate using their tissue and then they leave the person and it becomes airborne and people with a with stronger energy with a stronger energetic pull it just <laughs> come straight at us it's really bad i don't have this problem now because i've gotten strong enough to erase these from my field before they even get in um and this is physical not not energetic these are f they're very very tiny but they are quite physical um so that's what grapes are. This video is clearing grapes. So, you know, what I'm telling you, while it is, is very bad, you're going to get fixed up. The way that I really got... Actually, I'll, I'll talk about um, how it replicates. So the healthier you are, basically the worse it will do, the more damage it will do in a fast period of time. Because the healthier you are, the healthier your tissue is, and the more easily it can eat it and replicate. I'm not sure why that is, but that's why... 
a lot of athletes are getting very, very ill because they are much healthier than the average person. So it's eating that tissue much, much faster. And they're also doing, um, when I had grapes, my body was, and people often talk about this if they've been, just been around people with needle man energy, their body's like, stop exercising, stop stretching. This stuff is, when the more your blood pumps around your body, the more, the, the faster it can eat your tissue. So, it, your, your body, um, if you're energy smart, will stop you exercising. And that's why a lot of these athletes, they can't exercise. It's because, they can't exercise well anyway. They have to really, really push their body because they're basically fighting their soul in order to, you know, exercise. Um, so I'm going to talk about how I got covered in grapes. So I'm going to talk about my plane story in a later video, but I took a plane um, from Australia to Dubai. That was the first leg of my journey. And in that plane, it was absolutely full of people, absolutely full. And I was getting energetically just <laughs> hit by everything. Uh, that's a story for another time. But the plane itself, a lot of these people on there, well, they had needleman energy. And quite a few of them, whether they had had needleman three or they had picked up grapes from someone else, they had a lot of it. And a plane is basically this big metal pillar, right? Um, you can't exactly avoid the stuff. So I have a very strong energetic pull and I was just pulling this stuff in and I wasn't even aware this was a thing back then, okay? I was too busy focusing on surviving the trip. Um, it was not good, but when I slept, and often when you sleep, your energetic pull increases a lot, especially if you're under a lot of energetic attack. Your body tries to pull in as much energy to fight. So I was decent until I slept, and then I <laughs> I felt really bad after I slept, and it was only for an hour tops. It was basically three sleeps of 20 minutes, but it really screwed me up. So if you are traveling on a plane, and on a plane in particular, try and stay awake, but if you're on a bus and it's crowded, try and stay awake as well. That will help you not get messed up by grapes in order to clear these there's only two ways that I can really think of to clear these because this, this is a physical thing um, either with energy work that's one way to clear it or with very very strong magnets that would most likely be able to kill it as well um, th theoretically I haven't done it that way I've <laughs> I just fix everything energetically um, in order to clear it from yourself it's just this world, this world's annoying, okay? It's just energetic strength. When I first got hit by it, it was very hard. Now I can deal with it. No issue whatsoever. Um, but it did take me three weeks to figure out that I'd actually had this because after, after I saw that client, I was going, I, I, I did not feel good. I wasn't stretching. And then I checked for myself and I went, I'm covered in these. And the grapes, they're very smart. Um, other fruits, they'll just hit you everywhere. You'll see, you'll, you know, look up and you'll unfocus your eyes and you'll see a whole lot of stuff in your vision. That's how you can tell if you've got a lot of fruits in your body. So I went through and I found that it had targeted my, my heart massively. Well, first off, it targeted my brain, so I wasn't thinking very well. So it targeted my brain. My thinking became pretty crappy. Then it targeted my heart um, and, yeah, mainly my heart. It My lungs were more so from my body trying to get me to stop exercising. And then it went on to target my stomach. And then it targeted my hands and my legs a bit. It will go on to target your hands, your legs, your entire body after that. But the main areas it will focus on at the very beginning is your brain. So you don't actually think about what's going on. Um, yeah, then your heart, then your stomach. Uh, SF asked if this is safe for pineapple people to listen to. The answer is yes. This will clear their energy. They are emitting it. But... It is safe for them to listen to, no problem. It will help clear them. Um, so yeah, you don't you don't need to worry about, you know, it's not gonna do any, all that would happen is you're basically someone who, especially if, if they don't have much energy, they wouldn't be producing that much, so it would just clear the energy from them and then they just, you know, build it back up in them again. But we're around these people, so there's really not that much difference between someone who's got it and someone who hasn't. Um, there is a massive difference if you're energetically strong because you'll produce a lot more. But if you're not, there's really not that much difference. So, the symptoms of clearing grapes. What you will feel, similar to yesterday's video, you will most likely have a physical purge. That's very good. That's your body going, oh man, this stuff was in my stomach and intestines and it's doing a physical flush. I am not 
this will not get flushed out of you physically. This will get erased from you physically, but you will have a physical reaction there. Um, you may get some heart pain. You may get some head pain, that, well, headaches. That will all pass. Um, your thinking may slow down for a bit, and then it will come back much stronger. Um, overall, grapes are something that there's not that much of them. There's not that much. It, it depends on the person. But there's not that much of a bulk, really, for even the most graped up person. Well, if, if you're really, really graped up, it'll take seven, eight hours. But if you're not that graped up, average person hour or two and you should mostly be out of grapes and you should be um pretty good but even while clearing grapes once you've had the initial flush or the initial two or three flushes then you shouldn't have any more and you can feel free to play this and you, you won't have to get up and go to the toilet <laughs> you know you'll be able to relax and you can feel free you can't really overdo this video okay it's clearing and restoring it's not gonna really overdo you if you're getting absolutely hammered feel free to just put this on four times, pitch your lever and set it to be the optimal uh, for you. And then you won't need to worry about, you know, really overdoing it. That's what I'd recommend there. Um, very good question uh, that a friend um, asked me before I went live is, what if I live with a partner who has Needleman 3? And the answer is, well, that's really, <laughs> that's not good. That's very unfortunate. Um, it's, it's really hard to give advice there. The best, the best of us, you really give is if you could sleep in a separate room, do that. Especially if you're energy training, because you, you're just getting targeted by their energy. You could play this video. Um, you can even just say like, I want to play this for my niece, and you'll just play a tab of the video, and you'll say this one for my niece. Your niece can be in Egypt, um, and it will clear her there. So if your partner has it, and you don't want her bringing home needleman energy, or if she's just working in hospitality or healthcare, and she's just around that energy all the time, you can just play it and say, work on her, work on her surroundings. Um, and it will. So you can do that. But, you know, it is it is unfortunate. But you, you can just, yeah, keep... Keep having them clear to the energy, and they should. Once, even if they're producing it, unless they're very energetically strong, they shouldn't. If you have the video on, or you've just had it on for two hours, and you've got a nice pillow going on around you, it'll clear them, and you should be able to sleep peacefully without either grapes or needleman three energy pouring into you. Um, you know, it is hard. Um, I, one thing, my. I was going to use someone as an example, but I thought, no, it's probably best not to. People who are getting Needleman 3, they're not stupid, okay? A lot of them, they're doctors, they're scientists, they're smart people. They have an intellect. You can have an intellectual discussion about them, uh, not about them, with them. But they're very naive. They haven't gone down the rabbit hole that, if you're here, you've most likely gone down. Um, you know, for a lot of people, it can start with the two towers and then you you find out oh there's something may not be quite right there and then you go down and you just find more and more things they've never done this for them everything potentially not everything but the majority of things that they believe is what they've been conditioned to what they are told you know they're doing what they but you know believe is the right thing to believe so if you tell someone who has never questioned anything this right they it, it just doesn't compute they can't believe that there is anyone out there especially a large group of evil people that might not have their best intentions at heart it just they cannot fathom it because in their idea no that's the story of yeah, I'm a crappy movie it's not real life so especially now you know it's we're pretty far into this. If they aren't questioning anything now, you aren't suddenly going to get them to change their mind. It's very unlikely unless, you know, it's a new partner. But if it's someone you've been trying to tell this for years, they're not suddenly going to change. Um, no, Evelyn, you can regenerate brain cells with energy work. You certainly can do that. 
uh, no, this video does not need to play next to each person, okay? You can be in Switzerland and your niece can be in Egypt and you'll play the video and just say, work on my um, Egyptian niece. <laughs> your niece is in Egypt and it will clear her. I forgot to mention this, um, but in terms of it affecting buildings and areas. So I've got this video, right? You're a pillar. It will not just clear you. It will also clear your house and your surroundings. So you're a pillar and you will walk around and it will clear areas. One reason why my house is... It's not my house. My one reason why my hair is quite long is I thought, oh, I, I my hair's very long. I should get a haircut. And then I looked up just local hairdressing places, local barbers near me, and all of them, every single one, had horrible Needleman Three energy. And I thought, okay, great. So um, I'd have to do you know one of two things. It would either be now, now I've got this video, sort of be easier. But I could either clear the hairdressers, so you could just put this on and say, clear my hairdressers, I'm going to. Um, but the hairdresser most likely has Needleman 3, her clientele most certainly do. So these buildings, they're small and, you know, they've got scissors and other things that are metal and they just soak up this energy. So I didn't want to go in and, you know, get burned and then feel my, you know, my hair getting cut and then, ha you know, have to waste time clearing it. Um, I'd now be strong enough to clear it, but I also don't want to financially support... Uh, a business that is just covered in Needleman 3. So I have a friend um, who has offered to cut my hair. So I'm going to go to her and she will cut my hair. That's why I haven't had my hair cut yet. Um, after my flight, by the way, I'll talk about this while it's on my mind. I came off the plane and these implants make you so... The more Needleman 3 energy you have, often the more sensitive you are because the more implants you have, so the more is getting sucked in. And I had to go to the pharmacist to have a test to prove that I hadn't brought the illness to where I was. So I went there and this 16 year old girl walked in and I her energy was the by far the worst needleman energy I've ever seen. I'd ever seen. And I thought, geez, how was this woman alive? She has six months top to live. Now her needleman energy, it was terrible. She definitely had needleman three, but it wasn't that terrible. What it was was I was so covered in grapes and grapes are a physical receiver for this energy. So they just pull this in, they suck it in, and it makes it so much worse. So my symptoms from these Needleman 3 people were so bad. And I was like, oh, geez, are the people here just way, way worse? And they were worse, but they weren't that much worse. Um, that's what's going on there. And as I cleared the grapes and cleared the various Needleman 3 implants, I can now be around people and um, that pharmacy, I can feel it now, and the energy, it's like, okay, there's a... It's bad, but it's not like, like, oh, I'm burning alive. This is awful. Instead, it's like, oh, there's a bit of needles here. So, you know, implants, like a needly feeling so that I have to clear there. Um, if you are a hairstylist, by the way, the, you know, you could just <laughs> play this video on a laptop. Just have, I, I'm not quite sure how hairstylists work. I, from when I've gone to them, then we have music playing. So I take it they have a computer set up that's playing music. Just play the video, you can have this on mute, otherwise you're, <laughs> you're going to have a lot of questions <laughs> from your clientele. Play it on mute, it will clear their energy um, as they come in, limit it in, and keep your area clear. That's what I'd recommend. If you really have any kind of business, I'd recommend you play this regularly, or at least semi-regularly, so that your business isn't just caked in Needleman 3 energy, and you're not caked in it either. How, yeah, how do you go... Um, that's a good question. Uh, Evelyn asked, how can she go to the dentist when they're touching her? It's so this... It's really hard to shield from physical touch if you have to go to the dentist. Well... Yeah, it's, you're unlikely to find a holistic dentist who doesn't have it. Um, you could play this video, but... Jeez, dentist areas in general, even before Needleman Energy, they, or they always... They had bad energy. Lots of suffering there. Um, if you really had to go to the dentist, yeah, you could just play this video to clear the area. Just play it overnight before you go. Um, it's difficult, but that, that's really the best thing I can say. What, what about consent? That's a good question, Lisa. Um, yes, I am going to do a video on x-rays. Thanks, thanks for reminding me. Um, what if we do this without the consent? Well, the answer is, is this, okay? When I 
go outside, I'm going for a walk, and somebody walks by me, and they're Needleman 3, and they're absolutely weaponized, or let's just say they're very, they've got a lot of really bad negative energy, they've got a lot of reptilian energy, and it, it's not much of a problem now, but it used to be that they'd try and attack me, right? I, I wasn't consenting that, I didn't want their shitty reptilian energy, I'm just here at the gym, you know, go take your reptilian or your satanic energy and go somewhere else. Um, so, th there really is no <laughs> consent when it comes to energy stuff, right? If this, um, if the energy is positive, and you're trying to play it for someone, and you may be overdoing it, like, I want to play the shielding video 20 tabs for my, like, granddaughter, okay? Her energy will be like, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on, you're going to blow her up, stop. Um, you know, I'm going to play, like, one-tenth of the energy from one tap, right? That can happen. Whereas if you were to do something negative, her, her energy may try and stop it, but it most likely wouldn't be able to, depending on her energetic strength. Um, so in terms of intention, it's really up to your own morales and values. Um, you know, as I've just said, I don't want to go, you know, I'm going to have my friend who's not a Needleman 3 person cut my hair. Um, but, you know, we don't all have a friend who can cut our hair. So it's really up to, you know, your own ethics. What you feel is okay. If it's okay to clear someone from Needleman 3 energy, or if it's not okay. I'll check my notes. Um, in terms of I'm just thinking if I have anything else to say about being hypersensitive. Um, I'm going to do a video, I'll talk about this now, in, in the future, that will, um, you'll play when you, you know, go on a long trip or transport, and it will do an overall things. So, in the future, if you need to go on a plane or somewhere with a lot of Needleman energy, you can play that one. But for now, I'd, I'd recommend play this one. If you have to fly, you can just ask a friend to put on the video and say, just play one or two tabs for me on your computer with the intention to work on me, and it will. Now, don't be silly with your intention. Don't be like, I want this to work on the entire planet, because the energy will just... <laughs> it's it's going to go, yeah, okay, well, I've got, like, four liters of juice here. It's not going to work. You can't feed that to everybody. So, be specific. Um, you know, you, you can't... You can say, you know, work on my school, work on my work. That will work. You can play this, um, you know, you can say something like, you know, here's six tabs, work, you know, work on my workmates, fine. But don't be like, work on this entire country. Um, it's not, it's not going to work so well, because <laughs> the energy is not really sure what it's supposed to do there. Um, you can play this, so let's say you work somewhere, and all of your, or just most of your work people are needle three, and they're just, a, their energy is just hitting you. Yes, you can play this. While at work, you can play it at home and set it to clear your work. Um, you can do that, no problem. You can also play it at home and just say, clear those, clear them up so when they come into work tomorrow, they're, they're attacking me a lot less. Well, Tony, the answer to that, why do Needleman tr people treat those of us who aren't Needleman uh, like they're plague, like, you know, like they're lepers, essentially? Because they're programmed to. A lot of satanic programming, it takes what's the truth, right? And it just inverts it. So, nothing makes sense anymore. And anyone who looks at it logically and doesn't, you know, thinks outside of their programming goes, hang on a moment, this this is the exact opposite of what I've been told. That's what's going on there. Because rather than saying, no, no, there's nothing to worry about, there's nothing to worry about, and just saying that, and they're like, geez, the news is like, exempt, you know, they're making a big deal that this is nothing to worry about. Maybe there is something to worry about. Instead, they say, this is a good thing to have. And everyone who doesn't have it is a liability. People are more likely to believe that than they are that it's just a neutral thing. Saying it's a good thing, they're much more likely to believe. Yeah. I'm going to talk about animals now. Um, I've been staying with a friend for a few weeks and he has um, some puppies. And energetically... So, I've seen what they do if they're around any kind of um, or needleman energy or just energy in general. They often will go out and they'll shake their body a lot and they'll roll around on the ground and they'll do a lot of grounding. And this is built into them. They know how to ground. Often people with animals 
um, especially people who have empath abilities, they'll have a dog and they'll be bombarded with other people's crappy negative energy, fear, sadness, you name it. And then their dog will come home. They'll feel the dog take the energy out of them when they're holding their dog. And then it will go outside and roll around and get rid of the energy. People don't really... Uh, and dogs can be targeted with implants too, but unless you're very targeted, hopefully that's not happening. This video will clear animals, your dogs, birds outside from needleman energy, no problem. Um, but dogs have this built in. People, not so much. We don't come home from work and, <laughs> and go and roll around in the ground, it, you, you know, outside and shake our body. Um, that can help clear us. You can do that. Um, but it's not really built into us like it is animals. So, for animals, so long as you're not having people that are Needleman 3 holding your dog for a long period of time, which which can do quite a bit of damage, as I mentioned in the previous Needleman video, so long as you're not doing that, um, you know, I wouldn't worry too much about them. If you have a smaller dog, you'd have to worry more than if you have a bigger dog. Um, or if you have just a smaller pet in general, if you've got a hamster or mice, yeah, you, you, you'll have to you know, worry about energy cooking them more than if you have, like, a Labrador. Um, that's not to say the Labrador won't get built up, especially if they're old and they're not rolling around. It, you know, play this video for them and it will clear them as well. You can even, if your dog is really sick, just play a tab of the video and you will say, and by tab, I mean, okay, so you go on my channel, you'd hit videos, then you would right-click with your mouse, right, the right-click, that's that side, and then you, you will click with the other side of your mouse, the left side, open new tab, right? That's how you do that. And then you can go back to that tab at the top left and then you can play a few tabs. So you can open one and say, my dog is sick, my cat's sick, my niece is sick, and you can do that. Um, you can't really overdo it um, in, in terms of like, it's there's no limit on how many tabs you can play. The video has the energy, it's there. And, you know, you can play it for as many people or animals as you so wish. I went to the aquarium today. Um, I went with my friend and it was good. The There were quite a lot of people there, quite a lot of certainly Needleman 3 people who were walking around, which was annoying, but I just was clearing the various implants that can suck that energy in and, and walking around there. Um, and at this aquarium, there was an area downstairs, right? You walk down this cave, it was... Um, decently atmospheric and there was a tunnel and it went underneath the water and there was a conveyor belt and we stepped under the conveyor belt and on the side there are the list of all the sharks and all the fish in here and it looked very cool but as we went along there was one fish i don't remember the name off the top of my head now but it, it looked like a rainbow fish it looked pretty cool and i thought oh i'm gonna i'm gonna look for that one i went through the first time and there, there was no rainbow fish I went through a second time and there was no rainbow fish. So we went through and he commented, oh, there used to be way more fish and sharks here. It used to be absolutely packed. Now there were areas as, um, where there were absolutely um, nothing there. Like areas where it was more open, there were more animals, but areas where there was cavey bits and where there would have been most likely lobsters and octopuses, there was absolutely nothing. And after the convey belt, after we'd gone through twice, we both got off and I said, I, I feel really sick in my stomach. How do you feel? And he said, yeah, I feel the same. We both felt nauseous. And then I filled into it energetically. And I feel like over the last two years, 60% of the animals in this giant, um, you know, underneath aquarium bit are dead. There was so much dead um, fish and shark energy in there. And they, you know, just weren't replacing them. So, not, not them saying they, they should be doing that. But it was clear that these animals um, were being killed. And on the second time through, I had a look. I can see the souls of animals quite clearly. And at the top, I when I went in, I'm like, oh yeah, seahorses. Blue soul, green soul, yellow, empty, 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 empty. When we went through the conveyor belt in the aquarium, it was basically empty, 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 empty. empty. Empty, 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 blue, mostly broken soul, empty, 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 empty. The reason for that is, even without energy training, and animals aren't really energy training, right? Unless they've got a human who's doing it for them. Um, but beings with stronger souls have a stronger energetic pull. So anything that with a strong soul, or really a soul in general, just in it goes, dies. Um, 
Steve asked, did I clear the sharks? Somebody had put a satanic curse on one of the sharks. Like, I f could feel its bloodlust before I could even see it. And then I thought, why is there a... Who, who cursed the shark? So I did clear that off the shark. Um, and then there was another shark that had... I can't remember. It wasn't very memorable. It was a very big shark. And it had, um, I believe, purgatory energy that was on there. No, it was death energy. It was death energy. Yeah, that I cleared off that. Um, other than that, most of the animals... Most of the sold animals in there were all dead. And... That's really the world we're going into. Where there's, there is going to be, and there already is, a lot of death. Um, there is actually... Um, so you can, yes, I, I wrote this down. There is a silver lining here. So I got absolutely screwed up by goats from, from my plane trip. Okay? It won't happen again. Now I know what I'm doing. But I got absolutely screwed up by the grapes. Here's the thing. The bad people, the celebrities, the, you know, very, very rich people, Evil people, people who choose to be evil, their actions are evil, they go out of their way to be evil. They take planes. They go outside. They go to the wharf where people are shedding these grapes. If you were to say shedding, I would say this is the true shedding, these grapes coming out and going into people. Just scrolling through YouTube, I can feel the energy, especially with the grapes, I was way too sensitive. It was terrible. I could feel the energy way too strongly of people. And I'd go through and they'd just be like, here's a video of some celebrity. I would go, jeez, that guy's energy is absolutely horrific. Just like the girl in the pharmacy. Now, when your aunt dies, when, you know, a friend dies, okay, it doesn't go on the news. But when celebrities die, it does. So quite a few of them die from grapes, as they will, as a lot of people will, then either there'll be quite a few celebrity deaths, or they may start having to stagger them, be like, no, no, this guy died two weeks later. Um, but they are affected by it. So going forward, really with this energy, you don't need to be like, oh, we need to get the bad guys. All you have to do is outlive them. So long as you keep yourself energetically clear, they don't have a way to clear themselves from grapes. They do energy work, but it's evil. And I don't believe their energy works, as far as I'm aware. Because their energy, at least the people, the, the few celebrities I've seen as I've gone through YouTube, it would not be anywhere near this bad and this, um, this sick. You know, these people, they're cl clearly feeling awful. Their energy cannot clear them from this. All you have to do is stay alive and outlive them. We are essentially in a war of attrition. They are... Um, Australia was quite bad. Where I am now, things are much cheaper, but um, they are going to increase, and they are increasing prices of everything. But, and, you know, there will be quite a bit of death. So long as you survive, and you live longer than the evil people at the top, and even medium evil people, you win. It's as simple as that. Um... A good question, and I'll just check the questions here before I talk about that. Um, no, I'll talk about this now. So, a very good question is, why am I alive right now? Why am I here while this is happening? Why now? And the answer is, most likely, you've been here for a very long time. I've been here for a stupidly long time. So it's not that, oh, why am I here now? It's, I. you've been here for thousands of years. Um, if you're watching this, that's very likely to be true. So, you just happen to be here again at a very pivotal moment, alright? I was here for the last two times humanity lost when we had the first reset and the second reset. You may have been as well. And this, if humanity loses, would be the third reset. And if humanity wins, then this will not be the third reset. This will be the, the final life, right? So, you need to focus on staying alive because if you die right now, you will not incarnate back into you know, crazy land. You will incarnate into the fourth reset when technology is way reversed and people are pretty much starting over. And yes, there will be remnants of Earth. There will be um, just how there were after the last floods, but things will have changed dramatically. So the main, you know, takeaway is so long as you survive, even if right now you feel like you you know you're just having a really bad time, you're burning from this energy. So long as you're alive, you're a piece on the game board, and you have the potential. Even if it's just playing these videos or doing your own energy clearing, 
just helping the people around you, you have the potential to make a change. Um, and the more people that make a positive change, the easier it will be for all of us. Ajara asked, he's wondering if the grapes energy is what had him suffering after a workout session. Usually he's able to work out for two hours, for an hour or two after a workout, but lately he needs it. Wait. You... Oh, he's saying he's, uh, he's usually able to work after an hour or two, but now he needs at least four hours after he works out. Um, just going to check I read that right. Yeah, yeah, it is. The answer is yes. This grapes energy, it's targeting your organs, at, not even energy, the, the, the physical grapes are targeting your organs and they can slow down your recovery immensely because they're feeding off your tissue and they are damaging you a lot. Um, you know, in terms of the aquarium, it is sad, but, you know, there's really not much you can do. You, you can play the, you know, this video, but overall, um, yeah, there's, it's unfortunate, but that's just the world, you know, we're living in at the moment. Um, I did think when I first got in there, because when I first came in, there were quite a few sharks and fish in a very open area. And I thought, oh, it's because there's a lot of water. The water's very grounding. And the answer is yes. The, the water did help them grow out from energy a lot. But having people in there most days that were just blasting them, yeah, it wasn't doing well. So the the fish and sharks there, you know, still alive. Oh, NPCs, um, essentially, they're just video game characters. There's no soul there. Um, if anyone has any questions about anything I've said now, you know, feel free to ask and I'll do my best to answer them. I will say, um, when I first came across, across Needleman Energy and figured out grapes, that energy was repulsive. I went through and I cleared it all, but I'm now much stronger. Um, so as I've said, Needleman Energy, is, the third one, is 12 times stronger than... The first two. The fourth one will, pretend, will most likely be a lot stronger as well. Uh, but I feel I'm growing at a pace much faster than the evilness, like the, the severity of the, um, you know, needleman will progress. So I will be making videos for those in the future and keeping it up. Yeah. Um, I'll just do it when I feel it's most optimal. Is it possible? Yes, I've, I've mentioned how to leave the matrix in another video. Uh, Jordan, the first video, okay, I'll make this very clear. The first video, Needleman video, it's a good video. It will clear the energy from the first two, um, first two needles. This will clear the third one as well as the first two. So you can play that one or you can play this one. Um, I'd recommend playing this one. In, in the second one, I mean, in the first one, I talk quite a bit in detail about what's going on. Um, whereas in the third one, this is really for the energy, right? This will clear you up from the third one. Um, there was something else I was going to talk about. I'm trying to remember. Ah, yes. Um, in terms of this getting worse, so you may feel swelling in your body. This, this is often because... As you get clear from this energy, your empath abilities become stronger. And you will walk around people, and one area this Needleman 3 energy really hits is your calf muscles, right there. It targets them quite a bit. So, you may feel swelling in your legs. This can be one of two things. It can be the grapes and the Needleman 3 energy targeting you. If you've got this video on, it's most likely that not that though. What it is is you have a you know basically mostly clear body right now from that energy, and you are feeling the pain from other people's body who is used to it. So you walk around and you feel their swelling from where the fruits and the energy has just done a lot of damage on the veins and arteries in their legs. Um, 
in in terms of so let's say you live in an apartment building and a lot of people in their habit what you can do is you'll play this video and you will just say work on me right first off get yourself clear that's the most important thing get yourself clear work on me and then go through the apartment and clear the other people from this energy so they're not attacking you you know that's up to you ethically what you can do if you don't want to do them if you do them if you don't want to clear them what you can do is you can say work on me and then Basically, shield my, and it will, the energy will go around and it will shield your um, apartment building or your apartment room to better protect it from the incoming needleman energy from the other people. Um, if you are, yes, Vince, if you are playing the needleman video with people who are needleman, um, yes, even if you're just playing it yourself, the effects of the video can cause them pain because suddenly it's clearing this energy that's been, you know, weighing down on them for quite a while. So they can certainly feel a headache. That's part of it. <laughs> Come on, Ernest, I'm talking about needle. <laughs> um, no, the answer is no. Unless the succubus is a physical person, then they can do that. <laughs> No, that energetically, that's not possible, uh, as far as I'm aware. And I'm, I'm pretty knowledgeable about well, not not on that particular topic, but no, I don't think so. Um, Steve asked a good question. So, in terms of buildings, the buildings don't really absorb the energy. What happens is this stuff is kind of like mud, all right? It's like mud. So, let's say you have a hairdressing salon. And people go in and they've got Needleman 3 and the energy just comes out. It just sticks to the walls. Now, it doesn't go into the walls. The walls are not absorbing the energy. It just sticks to them. And it sticks to the outside of the building and it gets in the ground and it gets in your scissors um, and other hair cutting utensils. Um, but no, the building itself will not absorb the Needleman energy. Now... Energetically, when you look at the building, what you will see is a whole lot of just red static um, all over the place. But as you clear through the red static, you won't see a... You, you won't see the building as like a monolithic Needleman building. You'll just see it as the building that was covered in <laughs> Needleman energy. Yeah, that's a very good question though. Yeah, in terms of, you know, there will be a lot of death. Um, there already is. You know, keep your head up, just, you know, n n you know, keep, keep training, just so long as you stay alive um, and you try and keep those around you who, who, who are worthwhile um, and that you like alive, then you, you know, you will have a part to play. Um, or you, you, even if you don't have a part to play, just staying alive, you may have a part to play in three years, four years. Uh, no, everyone, I would recommend you play this video for clearing for Needleman 3 rather than the house cleaning video. The house cleaning video will clear up your house from other stuff, but this will really clear it up from Needleman uh, energy. Yeah. Now, that being said, you do need to be smart. You, you can't just be like, oh, I've got the Needleman 3 video going around and hugging Needleman people, sleeping with them, you know, doing whatever you want. That's not a good idea. You still need to try and preserve your health. <laughs> Just because you can get fixed up afterwards, it's better to take precautionary measures than, re you know, reactionary measures. Um, for some of you, you know, that may not be possible. But just, you know, try and be mindful and that'll help a lot. What if you think about someone what thinking about someone while listening to this won't really do much. Here's here's what you do. Okay, you'll play it and you'll you can say in your mind or out loud, have this video work on this person. Okay? You can just say their name, you can picture them, and then you can even picture the gold pillar appearing on them. Um, that's what you do. But just saying, have this video work on that person and it'll work no problem. Um If they really don't want to do it, like that, you know, you've got a brother who's Rudra, I've replied to your emails like 20 times. All right, stop stop emailing me. Um, uh, I'm not going to talk about the chakras right now. 
when do I... Th- the answer is Needleman people, a lot of them, it, it, the ones... So this is essentially an, a weaponized way for those of us with strong energy, just how most of those animals in the aquarium do not have souls, right? This is a way to kill off the people with souls, the people who have a strong uh, magnetic pull, right? They, you know, the NPCs, you know, they do what they're told, they behave. So the Ninnaman people without souls, I, I wouldn't really give a life expectancy to them. But they will live much longer, even generating this stuff all the time, than someone with a strong energetic pull who's around them, because this is not designed to... If they just wanted to, you know, they could just make a very slow-acting poison that works on you regardless of energy. This has been designed, quite clearly, to hit the people with energetic potential. To hit anyone with strong energy. That's how it's designed. Um... I wouldn't... thing is, it, it can, you know, there can be so many factors that can determine how long they'll live. If they don't exercise much, they're likely to live longer um, than if they're exercising a lot. If they're a bastion of negative energy, that may keep them alive more. It, it really just depends um, on the person. I think this, this is very important um, for... Anyone who's in school, um, one symptom, so the symptom scrapes can cause is blurry vision, uh, can cause, yeah, a lot of swelling in the body, both, especially in the calves, but the hands and legs, it can cause swelling, um, massive mental fog, basically your brain's just off, um, a lot of heart pain to the point where you try and exercise and it just, you know, you feel like something's grabbing you there, it can cause a big problem there. So if you have children and they're at school, I'd recommend you play this tab. Um, you can set it to just work on your child or to work play one for your child, one for the classroom, just so that your child is getting less bombarded by that energy as it clears up. Um, you know, just feel free to, you know, play this as much as you want to help your children because this will really, like, I had an energetic bad time at school and... <laughs> Those kids just had normal negative energy. They weren't, you know, weaponized by fruits to attack people like you and I who are pulling in energy. No, I would not advise you to stop working in, uh, to stop exercising while you're working in healthcare. I would advise you to use this video, get clear of needleman energy, and then work out. Um, that's, that's what I recommend there. In terms of the Needleman energy, it can, um, it's, I wouldn't say it's so much blurry vision. If you, ha- it, it, the, a good way to tell if you've got quite a lot of grapes is you can go out and just unfocus your eyes and just look at the clouds it, or just blue where, where you should see. And you'll just see like a whole lot of black spots and metals. Um, you may not know what metals look like. Basically tentacles with little dots in them. Uh, if you have strong vision, but there's a lot of metals, you may see that. Or if your eyesight's just blurry for no reason, it can be that as well. Yeah, that's disappointed that he, he got the new man. Um, courage. It's quite disappointing. Um, but yeah, no, feel feel free to play it. In terms of... I'll, I'll just mention this. Hospitals. If you are getting, you know... The problem with hospitals is most people in there, by design, are now Needleman 3 people. That's how this has been designed. So, they will cause... You know, these are basically... You go in there, you've got a stomachache, you come out, now now you can't see, and you've got grapes all over your heart. It's it's by design, right? Because most people are out of much of an energetic pool. Yeah, it's doing them harm. But it, it would really harm you. So try and avoid hospitals as much as possible. Um, you know, just try not to get hospitalized is good advice. But if it's something that you, unless you really need to go to the hospital for it, just really try hard to avoid it. Um, cause you're more likely to come out worse than you went in. It's good. Um, feel this went well. 
Overall, the burning sensation, if you're feeling it now, it should stop after a few days. If you're around someone, you may feel burning and then the symptoms should get weaker and weaker and weaker as your body is restored and the different ends are erased. Um, places like shopping centers, etc., I can go in, like, you know, let's say a big shopping center, I can go in that without much of an issue. But... Um, for example, I went to a swimming pool and my friend's boiler broke, so we had no hot water and we both didn't want cold showers. <laughs> so we went to the swimming pool and the swimming pool just had red needleman three energy everywhere. Um, and you'd think, oh, well, that's odd because there's a lot of water in a swimming pool. But the more enclosed an area is, and swimming pools don't only have fresh air going through them, it was an indoor pool. Um, the more likely the energy is to stagnate in there. The more people you have in there, um, really exercising, because when you exercise, your body's electromagnetic uh, strength increases, usually. So, as these people were exercising, and it's most likely the same in gyms as well, these needle mantra energy was just going up all over the place. Um, you can feel free to use this to clear your gym. You can feel free to use it to clear really anywhere you know it's just ethically up to you um you are helping the people in there even if they you know in the short term feel bad um you are helping them if anyone has any other questions let me know yeah i've been um in in terms of clearing your husband and your teenagers that it's a very good idea with needle man energy it's important that you really just stay on top of it because this stuff will just build up and stagnate. So rather than thinking, oh, you know, I'll just really focus on work right now and a week from now I'll clear myself, you're better off just playing this, not being able to think well for, you know, 20, 30 minutes if that's one of the symptoms you get and then continuing to work rather than putting it off because your productivity um, will go down as your brain power goes down. So you want to, you know, it's just the world we're living in um, at this pivotal moment. This is, you know, the game we're in. So just... One thing is, I, I you know, ignore the mainstream story as much as you can. Just try and keep a clear head. Know that this will pass. Um, it, it certainly will. Just keep energy training. Keep clearing and you will get through it. Uh, yes, Vince, you can play this for people who had to get it for work. I'm going to talk about people who've actually had it um, in an another video. Um, that's a very intricate thing to do, but that's also probably not going to be any time recent because it is quite intricate. Um, but I am looking into that. So, thank you, everyone. Take care.